Hello guys, today we have a video about G-Wagon with 650 horsepower. It's meant for tuning. We will remodel it into the 6x6 version, which the original cost a million dollars. So we are starting to prepare for painting our G-Wagon now. In other words, we will put the back of the body and the rear wall, because we want after painting it will be perfectly flat. Guys, I saw lots of questions about the amount of putty which we used in the video about Brable 6x6 where we made the rear body and wall. I want to give you some answers now. Ok, this technology came to us about 10 years ago, when we had still made limousines. I was making metallic sidewalls like 3 or 5 meters long. I faced a problem with the metal, it was flat, so I welded it and everything had to be good, but whatever, it has lots of bands, so I need to take them away. You can put it wrap, put it wrap, so we can do it for infinity. Whatever is side wall is crooked, I mean, it's flat like a washboard. To my mind, is this satisfying. So my team developed a method of using some points and putty. From begin to the end we construct the side wall, whatever is flat or hump break it. All of this we pull together and glue special marks on it, due to making a thin layer anywhere. And after that we take a large deck and completely rub it. In this case, you are getting a perfectly flat surface, like glass. I will show you a clip about making it for limousines. All my clients were impressed by it. Don't go chasing a beam. Let's ask our artist about the amount of putty which Sasha used on our G wagons. Sasha, tell the audience what the technology is about. Before rubbing, we need to put a few times. But if we put and drop, put and drop, it will take about two weeks and the result will be bad. It's much better to put all day and rub all day by coarse sandpaper to small. If you understand how our operator shoots, he films that I put a big amount of putty and uh, you think that our cars are made from it. Sasha, tell the audience what the technology is about. Before rubbing, we need to put a few times. But if we put and rub, put and rub, it will take about two weeks and the result will be bad. It's much better to put all day and rub all day by coarse sandpaper to small. If you understand how our operator shoots, he films that I put a big amount of putty and uh, you think that our cars are made from it. I am finished putting in fiberglass. I made the surface flat almost perfectly and gave it some stiffness. At the next step I will be working with soft materials and uh, make the surface ideal. Thank you. 
we are rubbed by double epoxy acrylic primer, because liquid putty behaves worse works with epoxy primer that was covered previously. After that we will put a thin layer to delete uh, bands and make our detail close to Edo. While the liquid putty is drying, I start the putty back wall. While the liquid putty is drying, I start the putty back wall. Finally guys, we ended painting, so we are going to start uh, to full web access. We didn't do it parallel, due to their being lots of particles of putty. You remember words of the artist, about 70% which we need to erase for an ideal surface. Our electrician disagrees to work under it in that condition.
So guys, this is the front axle. In fact, we don't have any sunyu for us, because we put on feet lots of giants. We set it up the height that's the hardest part. We load cups and axles on the top and on the bottom. All you know that g wagons fly and fire set very low, and their faces almost lie on the ground. We take in G500 springs, they are higher and toughest, they are a little thicker. We set up neat height and level spring by glass method, because it looks like a snake. The height is almost like an original. I will tell you about our subscriber. He said to me, Sasha, what you need? I have the same g wagon in my service station. He measured glass and height. And I quickly checked our parameters, and I was impressed when the parameters of side windows have a difference of 2 mm, and the back window has only 4 mm of difference. He gave us distance from the ground to the arch, and now we are regulating our wheels. I will say some words. Usually guys ask me about making a cheap body of G-Wagon 6x6 on original axles. In theory, you can. I sold back body of 6x6 on original axles. I think you could see it on Ukrainian sites. The owner wanted to lift it up and put 47 wheels, but he didn't get the needed height. You can see that uh, it is low and with big wheels, and the cut started to ride very tough. He put uh, very tough springs and very big cups, and he has a big angle of traction. Of course, we won't have this because they are rising cross portal axles. In fact, you can do it, but the car changed in control and gets very tough. But work isn't stopped. We almost finished the front axle. Welding increased and the custard ring intensified. I am sure, the car will ride very present. We lengthened rear wiring and soldered it, so it only waits for a setting of the fuel tank. Of course, we need to do something else. Okay. Let's start setting the cabin. We made it entirely from motion resistor plywood, which is especially flat. We also made it flatter near the window, because we don't want bearing emptiness or looking cheap. Also we found a special leatherette, which will be on the side. So guys, today we ordered these glasses and arch extenders. While they will be remaining, we take off the matrix from G-Wagon. Matrices will be professional, so we will do it with carbon molding. I am not sure the accurate name. I will remind you that our extenders will be with plastic. We molded it, whatever, it was almost impossible. So we want to remove the matrix. After that we will start making details. This is our extenders, Rakha, for this Gelindwagen. After we made it, we will take our car on wheels and it will go to painting. It will be black with red elements. It will be an aggressor. Honestly, we are already running out of time. The owner asks where the new toy is. And I am finishing this video. Goodbye.